With November over, it is now time to have a look at the best platinum trophies you could have earned for the month of November. This video here, we're going to be looking at the platinum trophies and games that you're going to be proud to include on your trophy cabinet for the month of November. These aren't going to be the easiest platinums. Those are in another video somewhere up here or maybe down here. Those ones are the, the quick and easy platinums. These are the great ones, the greatest platinums you could have earned this month. Let's have a look at them all. If you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day, taking a look at all things PlayStation. Today we are looking at the best platinum trophies you could have earned for the month of November. This is the video series where we try and highlight the really great games that came out each month and their platinum trophies as well. This month we're doing it a little bit differently. This is the PlayStation 4 version of this video, but we also have a PlayStation 5 version of the same video, which will be out on the channel tomorrow, or maybe yesterday, depending on how the scheduling works. Let's have a look at the five best platinums you could have earned for November. First up, we have Bug Snacks. Now I know this was free over on the PlayStation 5, but it's still a really solid platinum trophy and a really solid game that you can earn on PS4. Sadly, PS4 this month didn't have as many awesome titles come out that are kind of exclusive to PS4. So I'm gonna try and keep as many any of these exclusive bug snacks obviously isn't one of them but it was a 2 out of 10 difficulty and it took about 13 hours to platinum so a pretty straightforward and easy platinum trophy I would say a little bit more time consuming than the usual stuff we're used to on PlayStation 4 but a decent plat to boot game is really fun and solid story is funny gameplay is decent and the platinum trophy is really straightforward and non-complicated which uh, which is always a good thing in my books this obviously came out on PS5 as well so you could have potentially platinumed it over there because it was free with PlayStation Plus over there next up we have need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This is the remake of the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit game that came out on the PlayStation 3, developed by Criterion, who then got turned into Ghost Games. Uh, Criterion being the developers of Burnout, one of the best racing franchises of all time. They uh, they then went on to make this game here, which very much felt like a sequel to Burnout Paradise. Then EA decided to remake this game this year. Not sure why they chose Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. It probably wasn't the one I would have personally picked, but it's a great game. It's just probably not the game I would have picked to remake out of all of their games. Like I said before, it does feel a lot more like Burnout out than most other Need for Speed games. Uh, they they managed to incorporate a lot of those sort of uh, open world collectible elements in here that Burnout had and the crashing kind of elements and the arcade style gameplay is kind of like turned up to another level. Need for Speed's always an arcade racer but not as much as Burnout is. Platinum wise really straightforward 3 out of 10 difficulty platinum. It's like a 30 to 40 hour or so platinum trophy as well. Uh, really solid game and it's pretty cheap as well. It came out as a budget title at launch and it's been discounted heavily since it launched as well. So now I, I imagine it's going to be continued to discount going into Christmas if you decide you want to check this one out. Next up we have Yakuza Like a Dragon. This is uh, this is one that's kind of, the, the Yakuza franchise always baffles me because it's a lot more popular than I give it credit for. And this one was the same. I didn't really think too much of this game. And then you guys kept commenting and telling me how good this game is and how I shouldn't sleep on it. Uh, and how it's something I should be checking out. The reviews for this game were absolutely outstanding. Review-wise, it reviewed, I think, higher than any game this month, which is pretty crazy. The game is it's in the Yakuza universe, but it's a spin-off Yakuza game, so it doesn't fit into the main chronological order of the, the current Yakuza franchise. It also changes things around being a cinematic... It's a cinematic action game, but it uses turn-based combat instead of real-time combat, so they do change up how it plays there. I like that Yakuza's doing this. They've released so many games on the PlayStation 4, but it, it's neat that they continue to innovate and develop on that that idea that they had uh, around Yakuza so it doesn't say completely stale. Obviously they've done a couple of spin-off games in the past but this one here I, I think is the most well received of all their spin-offs. Uh, the Platinum Trophy is about a 6 out of 10 difficulty so it is a little bit challenging and it, it's gonna take you about 80 to 100 or so hours to Platinum. Uh, let's say 100 to keep it nice and clean. Nothing is missable when you play this either. You can play through the entire game you don't have to worry about missable trophies uh, or difficulty trophies or anything like that which is really good and and, and, and that means you can just sort of go ahead and enjoy the game for what it is, which is uh, which is a really good thing as well. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming in at number two. This one here I know is one of the most popular franchises on PlayStation. Uh, Assassin's Creed, obviously. The uh, a number of you guys have told me you're playing this over on Twitch. I've had a couple of people mention that they're playing this game as well. And uh, and it's a big boy. It's going to take you well over 100 hours to platinum this game. It's a very, very big, dense, open world game. It's funny because Ubisoft initially said that it wasn't going to be as big as Odyssey and I don't know if it technically is but platinum wise it's it's equally as, as time consuming if not more but 100 or so hours and it's going to be about a 4 or 5 out of 10 difficulty 
pretty standard for an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, any Ubisoft game kind of fits into that formula of do everything, collect everything, do all the side quests, and then you get the Platinum Trophy. I put it on this list because it's a super popular franchise, obviously, and it is a Platinum that you should be proud to have on your trophy cabinet. And when I make this series of videos, that's kind of what I like to think about is what are Platinums that you would be proud to show off. Not Platinums to boost your numbers, but Platinums that you're like, yeah, this is an awesome game. And, and, and honestly, Valhalla is an awesome game. So, uh, so, it does, so it does feel at home on the place PlayStation 4 version of this list. And number one, I mean, probably not a huge surprise, but Spider-Man Miles Morales, a uh, fantastic Sony first party game, a great follow-up to 2018 Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. This game's obviously available on PS4 and PS5. You can platinum it on both platforms as well, so you can potentially get two platinum stacks out of this game. Fantastic uh, game. There's not much more to say about this. It's a Spider-Man game uh, for next gen, essentially, but you can play it on current gen as well. It's a much shorter experience than Spider-Man is on the, the, the original Spider-Man was. Uh, it's going to take you about 20 hours, opposed to about 30 to 35 hours, but still about a 3 out of 10 difficulty. Gameplay wise, it's the same thing again with a completely new story and a bunch of new mechanics and villains added to it as well. Um, but the same, everything good that happened in Spider-Man, they took that and they just they just worked on it and made it better in this game. And that's the honest truth. So really solid game here. Uh, absolutely worth checking out. If you have a PS4 or a PS5, this is a must buy in my opinion. It fits into the category of like perfect platform them trophies. Uh, it does have one trophy in this game which requires you to play through the game a second time on New Game Plus which is a bit frustrating. I think Spider-Man's Platinum Trophy is still better than this one in terms of that but it's a pretty close, it, it comes pretty close I would have to say in terms of a perfect trophy list. So Spider-Man Miles Morales is the, the best, in my opinion, the best Platinum Trophy you could have earned for the month of November. It, it's a good mix of great game and decent trophy list. That is the five best Platinum Trophies you could have earned for the month of November. Let me know which ones you guys managed to nab in the comment section down below or maybe you're planning on going for them or maybe you're still working on some of them curious to get your thoughts but that is all from me if you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up if you didn't give a thumbs down and i will see you guys all in tomorrow's video have a great day